One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. I'm up at my place in beautiful Stevensville, Montana, and I have this awesome 1978 Mercury Grand Marquis Colo Colony Park. I want to say Colonial Park. Colony Park station wagon. Beautiful. It's a 1978. It's got the big 460 in it, baby. This was the last year's, I think this and maybe 79. And it's Grizz Pride. They've got a, a lot of hometown pride for college sports up here. We don't got no um, NFL or MLB or any of the basketball or hockey or there's no big professional teams or anything in Montana. And so the college, the Grizz, Cats, or the Grizz and the Cats, that's the big teams up here. And this person was a fan. Um, now all these stickers, I'm sure you could do some peeling, especially on the front, it come right off the bug guard, I know that. I'll give you the up close and all the way around in a second. It's just a quick walk around. And other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and start doing the review and drop down and show you underneath and all that. And check out my website, oneownercarguy.com. I've got all kinds of Trans Ams and stuff out here, like you wouldn't believe. I've got over 150 cars. There's four more lots just like this with cars, cars, cars everywhere. On the exterior, here we go. Underneath this car is nice and clean. You can see just a slight patina and everything from you know, the years. It's not rusted through anywhere. Clean as can be. Chrome is nice on it. There's a dent right there. And it's almost easier to show you by coming back here where you can see it. Uh, let's look under the sides and get that out of the way. Hydraulic lights, we can't get to go up and down. Now, by we can't get to go up and down, that means Samantha bought this at auction while I was away. She sent me pictures and a video. I was like, yeah, let's get it. And we got it. Beautiful. Not rusty anywhere. And in doing so, she checked the lights out. I didn't. I'll check them when I do the re uh, interior review here. And such. Um, let's look under the back to where we've seen it all. That's the only hole I've seen of such right behind the tires, of course. Nice and clean. Uh, we just washed it, so there's spots everywhere. And I think that's your once around and everything. From here, let's go ahead and show you up close any dents, dings, damages, stuff like that. Showed you the major one. Other than that, it's been repainted, obviously. Little imperfections along the trim, little stupid things like that, little chips here and there on the trim because they painted the chrome or anodized or I think it was trimmed like that. Little chips. No big damage or anything, but little chips and stuff. There's a little scratch right there. Chips along the edge. Scratch right in there or a chip in the paint. Now I'm sure there's a little filler somewhere because you can see right here. I think they put some on that dent. Um, it's all straight and smooth looking. They ain't got much in it, but it's little there. A little scuff on the trim. A little corrosion under the paint starting right here. And I'll show you some more areas just like that. Chip. Chip. Around there. Little scuffs and slight dingage every once in a while. Just scuffs on this very lightly. Coming up in miscellaneous places. Little corrosionary type stuff under the paint right there. The weather stripping here is starting to get a little dated and worn and such. As are the window sweeps, as you can see there. It's got these paw prints and this on it. I didn't want to, I think you could get it off. I really do, especially with the heat iron, but I'm not going to take into it. Um, I'm going to leave it. I just drive the heck out of this thing. The roof looks good. Very good. Roof rack and everything tight and nice. A little right in here. And what it is, it's just like this where it gets a little bubble under the paint where there was a speck, some specks of dust or a little moisture in the gun or whatever and then it bubbles up over time and maybe this had a little piece getting in there, whatever. It's not through, it's just under the paint. Same as here. It does it on these seams sometimes. 
little chips and miscellaneous stuff. Now, that piece is still there, which is absolutely amazing. Some corrosionary spots starting in the bumper, as you can see, going all the way across it. I just look almost perfect. Look at that. Little scuffs that you can hardly see. Um, little spots around the plate, and the only bad spot on it starting is right there. So watch out, you'll poke yourself. Same thing right in here and right there. Right there, yep. How about these? These are looking good, but there's a couple bubble it yeah, there's a little piece starting right there. And a little peel there. It's clean under here though. Little spots under the tailgate is on the paint surface you can see. Nothing rusted through anywhere. A couple spots of corrosion starting in there. And it's mostly gonna happen around trim at edges and stuff like that. A little scratch. Scuffed up just a tad. Like I say, that beautiful couple scuffs in there. That roof is beautiful and all the chrome stripes, all the stainless strips, look great. Same thing here. Starting a little corrosion area along that seam, just wasn't prepped correctly. And they lightly put a little filler in there, likely, and painted over it without being prepped correctly. A little chip in the light, or crack in the light there. This one looks good. That's a long ways. It's a long walk from here to there. That's all there is to say. And that sticker like this, sticker, emblem is missing from the other side, like you may have seen and I didn't talk about, but it's gone. There's the holes for it and everything. Other than that, going down the sides is straight. The paint is nice. It's shiny. It's a good looking car. Um, there's that hole I was telling you about. Now these tires are Cooper's, Cooper Weathermasters, and they're in great condition, and they have likely, and they're little titties all over the side and everything. There's likely 80, 85% tread, but they're studded. So you're not gonna really wanna drive these in the summer and spring, I don't think. Little, that right there is the worst on this side. And you can see, it's not, nothing through. I'm gonna break another piece right off. Nothing through, it's just wasn't prepped correctly right there. Little bubble starting there. And besides that, this right here, and then along the bottom, on the piece that goes that's below the doors, there's a couple places where the paint's chipped off, and you see the original yellow chip at the front here. A couple more stickers. And they weren't covering anything up, they were being cool. We're trying to. Something along the lines. Beautiful maroon. Chip in the paint there. Scratch in the paint there. Chip. Now I'm going to also... Wow, look at that. There's a couple cracks in the paint and stuff. But that piece, look at that. It's just in great shape. You don't catch them like this anymore. You don't. How about the other side? I want to look. No. Man, it's perfect almost. The stuff's starting in the paint. But they just didn't prep it 100% correctly. Uh, a little bit of overspray. Of some sort. They did use a K200 type primer on it or something. Yellow primer. Chip. Grill looks great. That bug guard, I don't know, man. That's a personal choice. It's a couple choices. Leave it like it is if you're a fan, maybe. Um, pick off the stripes, which, or the lettering, which will easily happen. I'm just not going to start doing it in case you want it on there. Or take the whole damn bug guard off. Um, hood emblem. Looks great. Hood ornament, whatever you want to call it. Not exactly great the way they painted it across it there. A little chip behind it. A couple of places they didn't really fill anything. They should have. Chip. A little paint damage. That chip will get a little bit bigger over time. Um, it's the kind of thing you just drive the heck out of. Now trim. Um, this piece is broken here. I mean it's there. You can kind of fix it. Dent there I didn't notice. Some corrosionary stuff starting just slightly. A little scuff, scuff. Ding. Chip around that. And there might be a few more chips I didn't get along this. You can see that there. I'd paint this whole wheel wheel black. Just kind of fill it in. A um, little scratch in the trim there. And little miscellaneous scratches and scuffs. Like that's the worst of it right there. Going along this trim. That one's got a little rattle to it. But it's there. Just one of the clips is loose maybe. Around the window. Looks great. Not all leaky or nothing. These windows all look in great condition. As far as chips go, I'm just gonna say there's gotta be a little chip somewhere in this window, but I don't see it. 
And I'll look more when we're doing the test drive type thing on it. Uh, a little discoloring there. You can maybe polish all this out. It's in great shape. Look at all that trim. So much trim. Has it got it all? I think it's got it all on this side. Now there might be a little ding or like there's some chips here. I don't know if I showed, but they're there. Um, I think I showed everything. Oh, right there. Bottom of the door. Night air starting. Now it's not through or nothing. It's just that paint coming right off. And I'll show you on a bigger angle. It's just got some moisture on it. And that's that. It's sand it down and repaint it. Little bubble starting there. I think I showed you that one. She's out there opening the gate so we can do the test drive here in a minute. I'm gonna open this up. Wow, they painted inside there, I think. Some chips right there. Well, this looks good. Other than that, I'm gonna get to the interior of this car, wait for the sun to go down. I might do the test drive and then do the interior. I don't know how I'll do it, but I'll be doing it. Make sure and subscribe, like, comment, and hey, feel free to share this on a blog or a Facebook page or something where somebody likes these cars. Be the first to get it out there. I don't know. I love these old cars, and that's why I deal in them, especially a wagon. It's getting rare to see this kind of stuff, and the day of the wagons, unfortunately, has passed us by. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, but it doesn't have to pass you by. You can get yours right here. Uh, interior coming up. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.